Okay guys, so let me show you how you can build a beautiful website like this one. It's a complete booking website that will allow your visitors to book a flight, book a hotel, car rental, airport transfer, tours and activities, and so much more. And just to show you an example very quickly, if I wanted to book a flight, it would bring me to this section. So let's say I want to fly from Dublin to Seoul. And let's select a date, perhaps from the 20th until the 26th. Let's say for one passenger, let's search. And there you go, he's gonna give us all these different options. And as you can see, it is searching for flights. And now our search is complete and now your visitors can select any of those options. Now I can do the same to book a hotel. So if I wanted to book a hotel, all you have to do is put the city name. Let's say I'm going to Seoul. Again, I select the time. I'll be there from the 20th until the 26th one guest and there you go now i can select among all these different options with all the different hotels different prices and then we can add as many features as we want for instance car rental you can have airport transfer tools and activities and you can add a total of 10 different programs to your website flights hotels tours and activities insurance transfers and airport services also trains and buses car rentals cruises package tours and some others okay guys so today i'm going to show you how you can create and make money from a flight and hotel booking website the easy way and with this method you'll have access to thousands of flights and hundreds of thousands of hotels and accommodations worldwide and you don't have to enter these manually they're all readily available to you in just a few clicks of the mouse all right so are you ready okay so let's get started okay guys so the very first step is to set up our hosting and register our domain name and for this we're going to use hostinger so we have negotiated special terms with them you can save up to 91 percent discount if you use the link in the description below so click on the very first link in the description below where it says mrweb.tv forward slash hosting and this is going to bring you to this page again this is a co-branded page that we have with hostinger that gives you access to up to 91 percent discount okay so it's very important that you use that link so once you're here basically all you have to do is click start now and as you can see it's only $2.99 per month instead of $6.99 already okay now if you click on this you can select your billing cycle and save even more money so clearly the longer your billing cycle the more you're going to save so if you were to select one year you will pay $2.99 a month okay for the one year but after that the plan will renew at eight dollars 99 so this is the normal cost basically okay so you're saving here 108 dollars over the one year period now if you were to select 24 months basically you still paid two dollars 99 but in two years time you will renew at only seven dollars 99 okay so you're saving here 216 dollars now, if you select 48 months, so four years in total, you still pay $2.99 for the full year, okay, for, for every month. But when you renew, you will renew at only $6.99. So in total, you will save $432 US dollars. And all these three billing cycles here include a free domain for the first year, which is a nice gesture as well. Now, if you scroll down the page, you can enter your email address and log or log in using Facebook and Google. And then you select your payment method. So you have credit cards, PayPal, Google Pay, Alipay and CoinGate. So very convenient indeed. And now I'm going to give you an additional coupon code okay so as you can see if you select for 48 months it would cost you 143.52 they will apply taxes on top depending where you're based in the world okay so based in ireland uh, myself i would pay 176 dollars and 53 cents okay so this is my total cost for four years okay now i have a coupon code so here you click on this and now you're going to type all in capital letters mr web reviews okay and then click apply and look what's going to happen so 176.53 and now we're down to 158.88 so you saved an additional 10 percent on top so this is the bargain of the century you know when you see the quality of the service provided by hosting i have all my all my website hosted with them you know and that's basically it now all you have to do is proceed to check out and then i'll meet you guys in the next step and now that you are registered with them you can log in into your account okay so let's just click login use your email address and password 
very good and as you can see we are now logged in into our hosting account so the very first step is to register our free domain so for this we click on claim domain and right here you're going to type in the domain name that you're looking to register okay so let's say for instance your website name okay and then you're going to select the extension so you have dot in for india dot me for parcel website dot com for commercial website you have dot net dot xyz and as you can see quite a comprehensive selection here so select the one that you think is suitable for your type of business now the most common one is dot com obviously you know and then after this you have to check the availability now dot com being the most popular one you might face this error message here so this domain is already taken which is very likely to happen you know because dot com are very popular obviously so right here you might have to look for a different variation of your domain name so for instance your unique uh, website name okay and let's look for this one instead okay so check availability and as you can see this one is available so once you're happy enough with your choice you can then claim the domain so all we have to do again is click on this button here and then we have to enter our details so if you're running a business you might put your business details here and then click finish registration there you go so that's done now and let's click continue and this is going to bring us back to this screen here and as you can see the domain name is now active so now we are ready to set up our server so we go back to home and as you can see here we have the setup section so i have a few different plans here obviously because i use them for my different tutorials but the one you have will most likely look like this or so premium shared hosting okay so you look at this one and you click setup here next to it okay so click setup and now we can get started so click start now so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to create a new website, obviously, okay? We are going to use WordPress. So this is basically your email address and your password. Now, bear in mind, this will be used for you to access the back end of your WordPress dashboard. So make sure you keep this somewhere safe, okay? So let's click continue. So right here, do you want to install WooCommerce? So WooCommerce is an e-commerce platform. So if you click this, it will install WooCommerce automatically. If you don't take it, well, basically it's just WordPress on its own. We don't need WordPress for this project, so we're just going to carry on the way it is. And feel free to install any of those additional plugins. Now, personally, I wouldn't use any of them. Uh, they're going to bloat your website quite heavily. So for me, I would just leave it as is and click continue. But again, that's really up to you, you know. So let's click continue. Now, as part of the setup process, you can select a theme here and you can click show more as well to find something that's maybe more suitable to you. But don't worry, I have a very nice theme for you. So we're just going to skip this step all together. So skip, I don't need a template. So basically here, as you can see, you're going to choose our domain. So your unique uh, website name, it's already normally pre-filled here. If it's not, click the drop down menu and select it manually and click select. And now you need to select the nearest data center to you or your target audience. So if you click on this, you have the map here. So you have a uh, West Coast, East Coast, Europe, uh, Asia and South America. So being based in Ireland myself, I'm going to select uh, Europe here, United Kingdom. There you go. Click change. And that's basically it. Now we can finish the setup. So nearly there, as you can see, 99%. And that's it. As you can see, well done. You are ready. And from here, you can go directly to your WordPress dashboard or your control panel. So we're going to click on control panel because I'd like to show you how to set up your email addresses as well, because we're going to need this for the next step. So right here, we have a quick overview of the health of our website. So your website is running smoothly. So this is what you would expect anyways. So let's set up our emails now. So we click on emails, email accounts, locate your domain name. So your unique website name.com and click manage. And all you have to do now is click on this big button here, the plus sign, to create a new email address. So usually it's info at or your name at or perhaps account at or whatever you want to create here. So let's say info at and then enter a password. There you go. And then create. So that's it. Basically, we're all set already. Now we can complete. So you might want to save those details here if you want to read this uh, via Apple Mail or Outlook or Thunderbird or Gmail, perhaps, you know, you will need to enter your SMTP and pop details and also those values here. And don't forget to enable SSL or TLS. OK, so now we click complete. And that's us done with the email address. So we have this done already. So you can leave that page open now because we might come back and check our emails later on during this uh, tutorial. Okay. So let's right click on websites here, open in a new tab. 
And there you go, as you can see, you have your unique website name.com and now we can access our WordPress dashboard. So all we have to do is basically click on this button here, edit website and welcome to WordPress. So by default, it will bring you to this page. Now you can come out of this, just click on the big W here. And if you click on dashboard, this is basically your WordPress dashboard. So this is where it all starts. As you can see, welcome to WordPress. Now you can dismiss this message altogether. And as you can see by the side of all these different uh, tabs here that we're going to use to build our website. So the first thing we need to do is a, a bit of cleaning up, you know. So we go to plugins. There's a lot of things here that we don't need basically, okay. So what you do is just bulk select this and then deactivate, apply. And now you're going to bulk select them all, untick light speed cache. That's all, okay. Just this one. And now delete everything. We're not going to need them, okay. Just click OK. That's it. All done now. So if you go back to your dashboard, now we have a much cleaner working environment. And now let's take care of some essential settings. So we go to settings, general. So right here, you're going to put your site title. So this could be the, the URL, your business name, a company name, and then a tagline as well. So this is just in a few words, a quick description of the main purpose of your website, what you are offering basically. Okay. And this is very helpful for SEO purposes as well. So if you want to add some keywords as well that you want to be found on, please do so here. And then after this, scroll down the page, make sure your, your email address is correct. You can set your date and time format. So click Save Changes. And after this, we simply go to Permalinks. And right here, as you can see, we have those different options. Select Post Name. So this is the format that we need. And then scroll down the page and Save Changes. And that's us done with the essential settings. That's all we need for now. Now let's have a look at our website in the front end. So if you hover on the title, your visit site, if you right click on this, open in a new tab, this is basically what it looks like at the minute. So clearly very basic indeed. And the reason why is because at the moment we are using the default theme that comes with WordPress, which is called the 2023 okay so this is the default one that comes with uh, wordpress so what we're going to do first is to install our own theme and then we'll install the plugins required for all our flight booking hotel booking taxi booking airport transfer etc etc okay so let's click add new and we are going to install the astra theme which is right here it should normally be in your recommended page if it doesn't show up just type astra here in the search box and it should show up right here so all you have to do is hover on top you have a button here install so click on this and now activate very good so now as you can see we get a message here that says install the starter template so these are ready-made starter templates that we can use and this is going to save us a lot of time obviously you know so let's click on this get starter templates and now if you scroll down the page you have this button here that says build your website now so let's click on this we're going to select Elementor as our page builder. Click on this. And now if you look for a theme related to travel, as you can see, there are a few actually very nice looking ones, you know, but these are premium versions. So that means that you have to pay for these. Okay. Now this is really up to you. If you want the paid version, uh, feel free to buy any of these. But again, we're going to do this for free. And we have this one here, Outdoor Adventure. This one is free. So all the same, basically, you know, uh, you can go back to the main screen. It will be right here. It's one of those free ones, those most popular ones. Okay. So all you have to do is basically click on it and then skip and continue. And now here you can select your main colors, your palette, basically. Okay. So as you can see at the moment, it's mainly reddish uh, at the moment. So you can select another one, uh, for instance, purple, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, light blue. So basically feel free to select any color you wish to use on your website. Okay, so let's go maybe with orange. Why not? So if you scroll down the page, you can select your font. So as you can see by default, we have this one here, which is Montserrat. I personally really like it, but now you might prefer another one, you know, select whichever font uh, you're comfortable with, uh, the one that you like basically, okay? So let's go for instance with this one here. And then after that, click continue and then uh, submit and build my website. So this is gonna take just a few seconds to build, you know? So nearly there, three seconds to go. And there you go. When you see the firework, that means that this is working. So now we can click on this button here, exit to dashboard. And there you go. Now you can close this as well. And now let's have a quick look at our website. So again, hover on top, visit site, right click, open in a new tab. 
and there it is as you can see outdoor adventure so it's already somehow related to uh, travel you know and now we can tweak this around and make it our own so very nice very professional looking website indeed so let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and now let's install the main piece of our project so for this we go to plugins add new and in the search box look for travel payouts all in one world and that's the very first one here so there's travel payouts all travel brands in one place and that's by travel payout so make sure this is the, the exact one okay so I'll click install now and then activate very good and immediately here you get two different uh, messages you have to activate the plugin and set it up okay so first step first let's activate the plugin so let's click on this and now we have to create an account okay so let's click on this blue button here and it will bring us to the travelpayouts.com website and now all you have to do is to sign up and register with them so for this you need your email address enter a password and then create account then answer a few questions here so they want to know how you heard about them so let's say uh, i don't know from recommendation okay submit so what brings you to travel pre art we have a blog website or other resource i don't have a blog or site yet well i don't have yet we're building it okay so that's basically it now we can create a project this is what we have to do now the project basically is linking this app selecting the different uh, available partnership programs and then link them to our website okay so let's go ahead with this so we can create a project so create project so who will run the project so that's yourself basically are you an independent content creator so that means you have a website you have social media platforms vlog which is most likely the case are you a travel agent or something else you know so let's say we you we have a website so now we need to put the url of our website so we let's go back to our domain here so you're going to select basically the domain name of your website and you're going to paste it here and perhaps you have social media as well you can put your social media uh, platform icon account here uh, maybe you have a youtube account do that as well okay well at the moment all we have is just a website okay so let's click next so which language is required let's say english only at the moment but again you can have spanish you can have chinese portuguese arabic french indonesian look at this a wide selection obviously you know then how many monthly viewers do you have on average well at the moment we don't know obviously so you could say for zero to five hundred maybe five thousand to ten thousand let's say 501 at least you're going to get 500 visitors you know to 5000 okay and what countries do you target well it's online so basically everywhere there you go that's it done now click next so here you need to name your project so clearly our domain name is your unique website name so you're going to put your company name or your website name or again a business name whichever suits uh, this case here finished project so that's it the project is done and now we can check the program so basically these are all the partners that you can add to your website so whether will it be to have a flight booking hotel booking uh, maybe a bike rental car rental uh, taxi airport uh, transfer etc you know so these are programs okay so these are all the things you can add to your website so you can either click on this button here or you can go by the side you have programs here all the same you know so let's click on this one here instead just to show you so there you go as you can see here we have booking.com via tour rentalcars.com so TripAdvisor. so these are big companies obviously so you can partner with them no problem at all now the only issue is that our website is too young way too young we're only starting up here okay so have a quick look here see so if i click on details and join the program and click connect as you can see here as part of the conditions your website has to be at least two months old regularly updated and up to date with up-to-date information you know so this is the issue we're having at the moment our website is not yet two months old we're only building it okay now if your website is already two months old you have a domain name already the hosting server and everything all set up at least two months old you will be able to uh join uh, booking.com obviously you know in our case we don't have that option available at hand but thankfully enough i have an answer for you so if you go back to the programs now I'm going to show you a nice company that will let you uh, join them no problem whatsoever they don't have such strict requirements so if you look for avia sales just like this one okay if you click on details so these are for basically cheap flight ticket bookings so this is the one and if you click on join the program connect 
they don't have any requirements. You automatically accept it with them and you'll be able to promote all their different uh, services, okay? So this is one we have at the moment. So this is for the flight booking. And as you can see, well, basically Avia Sales is a trusted service for buying cheap flight tickets. So now the average price is $150 and you're making 50% commission from this. Simple as. So easy way to make money. Now, as you can see here, we have the tools section. So what's this about? This is basically where you can customize all your uh, widgets. So basically you can fit all these different widgets on your website. And this is how you can book flight basically, okay? And for this, we need to use the API. So what's an API? It's a way for two different platforms to communicate with each other without having to enter any specific uh, credentials. So this is very safe and secure, obviously. So if you click on API, as you can see, we have the API token and we also need our ID, which is right on top here. Okay. So let's go ahead with this. So if we go back to our website now, we can now link our app directly to our website. So the first thing we are asked to add is our API token. So again, we go back here, copy this, paste it here. And we need our affiliate ID, which is the number here next to the ID here. Okay, so copy and paste this right there. And now you can select your currency. So if you're based in Europe, you might select Euro. If you're based in United States, US dollars or whichever uh, one you want to deal with. I mean, internationally, normally you would use US dollars. Okay, so let's click save changes. There you go. So now this is linked and now we can actually add this to our homepage if we wanted to. So let's go back here. So like we said, if we go back to the widgets, there you go. As you can see on the screen, we have the search form. It looks exactly like this. You can have the flight schedule widget, calendar widget. You can add a map and also popular routes. So all of these are fantastic widgets that we can add on our homepage to help our visitors decide which destination they need and book their flights basically, okay? And we can add any of these to our homepage. So if you go back here, as you can see, we have to change this obviously, but we can add an image here. And then instead of those sections here, we can replace that with actually any of those widgets, which is gonna make our website look very professional indeed. So how can we do so? Okay, so let's go to the WordPress dashboard now. So this time we go to pages, we have all our different pages here, okay? So this is our home page. So what we need to do is basically edit with Elementor. So right click on this, open in a new tab. So I'm a big fan of opening different tabs, you know, this way you can keep track of what you're doing. You can move from one to the other. We have the front end, we have uh, our widgets here. This is Elementor itself. And then we still have access to all the tools in the back end of our website. If you leave them all open, it's very easy to go from one to the other because we have to change things around from one place to the other, okay? So if you go back to Elementor, by the side, we have all these different elements here that are called widgets as well, you know, and then you can drag and drop them on your page anywhere here. So this is a drag and drop page builder, which is super easy to use. So as you can see, if I hover on top, this is a section, okay? Sections are made out of columns, columns, sorry, and columns are made out of different widgets, which are, uh, look like this one is heading, this one is a button, and so on and so on, okay? So this is very easy to use. So now we can insert our widgets from uh, this uh, travel payout website anywhere on our page, okay? So let's go ahead with this. Let's start customizing our homepage. So right here we have what is called the hero section. So this is the first thing that your visitors will see. This is where you can convey the message and basically the tagline of your website. So here, instead of a wonderful gift, we could have, for instance, book your wonderful holiday or your dream holiday or something like this, okay? So first we need to change the image in the background and may maybe make this slightly smaller, maybe half the height or one third of that height. This is too big, you know? This is not really suitable for this type of website. Uh, let's put it this way. So if you were to click on this section here, on, this, on those six dots, you go to style, this is where the image is, is, you know. So now we can upload a new one. So I found one online. I'm just going to select this one. As you can see, beautiful image. So open, insert image. So there you go. As you can see, this gives you a feeling of going on holiday immediately. Now, again, like I said, it is way too big, you know. Technically, all we need is just the bottom half, the sky here. We don't need it, okay? So all you have to do is basically click on the image again 
edit image and now we can crop the image so click on crop and now select the section that you want to show okay so let's say maybe just this this would be sufficient you know we get the whole idea just by looking at it so click on crop again that's it save and now insert media again and there you go as you can see now we have the same image but only half the screen but you can clearly see we have a big space here underneath and the reason why is because we have some padding so if you go to advanced as you can see i have padding here so set this to zero and then zero again and they go nice way smaller as you can see now this is maybe too small so you might have to add a little bit on top let's try perhaps a hundred okay that's that's okay maybe 50 on top and 50 at the bottom and there you go now we have it okay so don't forget to click update just to make sure once you have it and now we can change our headings okay so here explore the colorful world this is absolutely fine and here we could say find your ideal holiday yeah that's it that's a nice message and then we have a call to action button here learn more we're just going to keep it as is for now we're going to link it back later on okay so right here we have a quote uh, literally of no use to us you know so you can basically delete this okay and now we're going to add something in between all right so let's hover on top here you have the plus sign so click this the plus sign again and now we're going to select full width so let's add this so now we have this section here okay so you click on the plus sign this one here i'm hovering on top okay if you click on this now now we can add a html widget there it is so you type html drag and drop it until you have it here there you go perfect and now we're going to go back to our travel payouts website and we are going to go to our widget so we are in the tool section here so the one we're going to insert is the search form first so if you click on this the customizer and there you have it this is our search form exactly the way it will look like on our website and you have it on mobile phone as well so desktop pc and mobile it looks very professional doesn't it now here's the thing as you can see the color the main color here is blue whereas our website is using orange as our main color okay so we can replace that no problem by the side we have appearance click on this expand and everywhere you see the blue replace that with the orange okay so i'm just going to re replace this okay so change the code here with our orange one there you go so this is one this is two and we do the same with this one here Control v there you go and now it's all orange now this is using avia sales as the provider now if you don't want to show this logo all the same you can just scroll down here you have hide logo click on this and there you go now you all you have is basically the booking form on its own okay and now if you're happy enough with the result now we can copy the code here so click on this copy code we go back to our uh, elementor page and where you have html code insert that in there Control v and then click update now as you can see it is not displaying in the back end so what we need to do is to have a quick preview okay so as you can see here with preview changes click on that it will open up a new tab and there it is as you can see it looks really professional already and right there immediately you can already book uh, uh flights <laughs> immediately it is that easy so as you can see we have we're missing a bit of space here on top you know so maybe we're going to add a bit of uh, padding on top so let's correct this immediately so we go back here click on that advanced and instead of 50 let's add maybe 150 yeah that's better and as you can see a bit of spacing on top so we're going to remove uh, the bottom sorry we're going to remove that and there you go that should work normally so click update and if you go back to the front end well there you go it looks very professional already so as you can see heading subheading logo menu section call to action call to action and right here underneath our flight booking system so let's put this to the test so let's say i want to go from dublin airport there you go to let's go to for instance i don't know uh, seoul there you go and i want to fly let's say next week no the following week and back on the 26th one passenger and let's search and there you go guys oh well, this is populating already thanks to avia sales so as you can see all the tickets are showing up here 835 1050 1252 and so on and so on and now your visitors can basically click on this book the flight and you get a commission on this 
okay so we can close this now so let's go back to our preview so we can close this so this is our search form so we might add just underneath maybe the flight schedule widget okay so now you can add as many things as you want on your home page obviously you know so let's go to the customizer for this one okay so there it is so this doesn't need any uh, changes made to it it's fine the way it is you can just add it like this to our website so copy code let's go back to elementor and just underneath this what you can do basically is right click on this duplicate now click on the code select everything delete and then paste the new one in okay so let's click preview changes and as you can see underneath we have all these flights and if they click on the expander button here it will show even more so these are basically super easy to use super easy to implement and as you can see 165 flights a day and then you can book immediately from here as well so another additional feature and you have to be be honest it looks absolutely really professional you know you have no doubt this is a serious company behind this you look very very trustworthy indeed so let's go back here now so don't forget to click update from time to time like i said you know so if you scroll down the page as you can see with a heading here upcoming events and then two different columns we could use it as well to add more of those widgets okay so if we go back here now this one sorry if you close this what do we have we have the map and the popular routes so we could actually insert this as well onto our website okay so let's insert for instance the calendar and also the popular routes so let's click on the customizer again very good so we copy the code we go back here and we're going to delete this okay so right click delete we need all of these right click delete again delete and now we're going to insert again HTML. So search for HTML, drag and drop, copy and paste the code. Okay. Now if you duplicate this, first delete those. Okay. So delete, delete, delete. Now we can duplicate this, drag and drop. We can bring it here. And now we can change the content here. So select all of this, delete. And we're going to replace that with the next one okay so this is the one so let's close this and let's add perhaps i don't know maybe a map or the calendar whichever way you want you know so let's add maybe the calendar why not so that looks fine as well yes perfect so let's copy the code and let's insert it here okay so Control v and then update okay so let's have a quick preview so again we go to the front end here so all the flights, upcoming events, and here we have all our calendar as well with different dates pre uh, set here for us. So as you can see, this is very nice because they have destinations. You could say, oh, great. Our nearest airport here is Nok. As you can see, we can go to Istanbul for just $36, Tel Aviv for $36, and New York for $196, one seat. So this is very appealing to your visitors, and this is going to help. Now, obviously, you're not going to say upcoming event, so we can change this to something else. So let's go back here and let's change the title to, let's say, special deals. Why not? OK, and then click update. Very good. So right here, we have this section here. So we could use this actually to insert the map, you know. So as you can see here, we have this feature here. Let's go back here. This is a map. So we could add this as a full width item as well and make it look like the, the other one. Okay. So if you click on customize again, there you go. This is our map. So I you can see all the flight is very easy for people to visualize their locations. They could actually hover on top and see, oh, this is London. Uh, where is this now? This is uh, Yaroslav. Uh, this is Atiro. <laughs> I don't know where that is. Sorry. Uh, and these names, I can't pronounce those names, but anyways, <laughs> or you can go to Reykjavik or something like this. Okay. So basically here you have the appearance as well. If you go up there, you can customize this as well, you know, so we can again, change our color here to orange. So let's replace that with our orange here. And right here we can add the same orange, but let's select a brighter shade just like this. There you go. That's perfect. Now, as you can see, this is for our button. Okay. And now we can copy the code and insert it on our website. Now, clearly the width here is only 800 pixels. Our website is 1200 pixels in width. So let's change this to 1200 first. And there you go. This is perfect now. So now we can copy the code 
and now uh, well we can actually keep this section you you know and use it for something else as a call to action so you can either in, uh, insert it before or after so just click on the plus sign here as you can see it and create a new section full width there you go and now we can insert html again so let's click on the plus sign here we're going to search for html drag and drop and now we're going to paste the code right here okay so let's click update and again as always have a quick look you know in the front end make sure everything is fine so that looks very professional indeed and we have our map just underneath and now we can use this as a call to action button okay so that's basically for the flight booking the ticket booking uh, feature so this is one thing done now if we go back to our website here close this now we can go back to programs again and now we can insert anything we want. So you could have maybe hotel booking you want to add as well, and maybe airport transfer. So they're basically all here, okay? So you have flight bookings, hotel and accommodations, touring activities, insurance, uh, transfer and airport services. You have uh, car and bike rental, cruises, packages tour, and others. So ideally, when someone goes on holiday, they have the flight, uh, they're going to book the flight. Now they need hotel and accommodation, obviously, you know. So if you click on this one here, now you can partner with any of those 14 programs. As you can see, you have TripAdvisor, Trivago, Booking.com, Hostel World. Well, this is really up to you who you want to add on your website. Now, having said that, if you go back to the homepage, as you can see, we have our uh, search form here. There's a show hotels feature as well. So if you tick this, basically it will automatically open booking.com as well and you get a commission uh, on that as well. So whichever way you want to set it up, it will work either way, you know. So if we go back here now, you can add any of those. So let's add one together, for instance. So let's go with maybe hotel look here, 5 to 7%. So let's click on details, join the program, connect. There you go, all done. And now we can go to our tools. So right here, as you can see, they have quite a, a good selection, you know. So if you go to the widgets, there it is. As you can see, I have search hotels and all these. So this is going to look very professional. And as you can see, it's already orange. Uh, we're using the orange color uh, for our website, which is super handy. Okay, so first, let's add maybe our search form, you know. So I'll click customize. And again, you can change the color right here. You know, you know the principle now. So I'm going to just copy the code here, copy code. Let's go back to our page and we're going to insert this maybe underneath. So basically the first uh, top half will be based on flight booking and then the second half could be hotel booking. Okay, so what we're going to do is just add a new section here. Click on this full full width as always. Click the plus sign. Now you know exactly how it works. HTML, drag and drop and paste the code in here. Okay, so let's click update. And what else do we have? So we can have a quick preview, obviously, you know. So let's scroll down the page. As you can see, we have this section here and then hotel booking just underneath. So again, we can add a little bit of spacing maybe, you know. So if you click on your main section itself, you go to advance and add maybe some padding on top. So unlink this. I'm just gonna add maybe 50 on top. There you go. And perhaps 50 or 30, maybe 25, let's say, at the bottom, okay? Just to add a bit of breathing space very good so let's click update now i noticed that we have the logo displaying here as well which is maybe not that nice you know this is really up to you it's all the same you know and maybe once we reach this section here maybe we need a heading as well that lets us know that this is for hotel booking as well so what we can do is just fetch that from the top here this one here okay so if you right click on this uh, copy and we go back here and right click on this and then paste and now we can move it around you know bring it on top and then here you can instead of special deal we could say for instance hotel booking okay and now we know what what this section is all about okay so let's go back to our front end and let's have a quick look and that looks absolutely fine as you can see we have a bit of breathing space on top our heading and now we know exactly what's happening from this moment on these are all hotel booking and then we can add all the different other widgets so we can go back here basically you know and then we can add the hotel selection hotel widget and the map like we did previously so let me do this very quickly so there you go guys you can see now we have our different widgets so we have the first one the second one and i added two here in two different columns and if you go to the front end that's what it looks like so you have the search form 
our suggestions here immediately underneath and then with this section and also the map so very handy as you can see looks very 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 professional indeed you know so these again are the widget that i selected from here and again all you have to do is click customize add your color and then copy and paste this into your back end so a few finishing touches obviously if you go back here you have to change this section here you might want to change the image in the background the content the text and everything you know organize this the way you want if you scroll down the page we have this section as well if you want to keep it it's fine you can add your own images for instance you know if it's skiing season you could uh, leave them here or replace them with something else uh, i don't think it's necessary uh, if it was me i would simply delete it altogether delete that but again that's really up to you you can always uh, bring it back if you wanted to as you can see here by the side you have the history so if you delete it by mistake click this one you can go one step backwards and that's basically it you know as you can see now it is back on our screen so again this is really up to you if you want to use it or not so there you go that's us done with the home page so now we can come out of this exit and we go back to our wordpress dashboard so the next step if we go back here okay we go to programs as you can see with flights and hotels so this is immediately on our home page but maybe you want to provide tours insurance uh, airport transfer what else do we have with uh, car rental and all that so now we're going to create subsections so basically additional pages on our website okay and then we will link them here on top instead of about services project and contact we're basically going to add those services right here okay so let's go back to our wordpress dashboard so we go to pages all pages and add new so let's create our first one so let's select for instance tours and activities okay so we're just gonna copy this now and then go back here and let's call this one tours and activities okay now publish publish again and now we're going to edit this with Elementor. So edit with Elementor. Very good. So at the moment, we only have the header and the footer section. And now we can add whatever we want in the middle. So same principle as with our homepage. So let's go back here. We have tour and activities. And now we need to select one of them. So we've selected tours and activities. So let's select one. So what do we have? We go trip, uh, big bus tour, whichever you want. You know, you could add all of them. You know, you can have maybe a section that says uh, tour buses and then we go trip or something like this. Okay, so let's try this one here, for instance. So these are excursions. So let's click details. Let's have a look at the tools. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so let's click about. Now we can join the program, connect. That's it, we connect it up now. So if we go back to our tools, again, same principle, you go to the widgets, customize, and with this one, we don't have the option to change the color, but that's okay, you know? So all we have to do is basically copy the code. We go back to our page, let's create a section. There you go, click on the plus sign, HTML. Let's insert this in here, Control V. There you go, so let's click update, and let's have a quick preview. So I can close this one now. So preview and there it is so basically when they land on this page you'll have the full menu section here on top obviously you know which is hidden at the moment we're going to fix that later but there you go now you have this and then you might want to add the other one as well while we're at it if you go to programs go tour and activities and maybe the the bus uh, tour where is this one now uh big bus tour there you go again you have the tools here okay so if you go about then you can join the program and add it as well so let's go back to our page and then maybe we can add a heading here on top you know okay so if you click on this section here we're going to add something here so let's go back here let's select heading let's insert this on top so let's see have a look so uh, we go trip it's basically all your excursions and tours so we can actually select this Control c oops and then paste it here okay Control v and then we can add a bit of breathing space all around it so we go to advance padding so let's put 50 on top and perhaps 50 at the bottom and then click update and that's basically it so if you gonna have a look now that's it our page looks absolutely fine so basically now if you go to, to one page to the other if you go to the home page they will see this and then we're going to add them here to our menu section all our different services okay so if you go back to our pages here i quickly created a few so we have the airport transfer as well car rental 
and the one we created tour and activities okay so let me show you airport transfer what it looks like and car rental very easy quickly here so this is the airport transfer they can select basically the vehicle to bring them from the airport to uh, the hotel perhaps you know and then car rental as well i added a banner here and underneath we have the local rent.com feature so there you go basically okay so let's close those two now and now we're going to go to the menu section so for this it's in appearance menus and as you can see at the moment, this is our main menu. So if we have home, about, services, project, and contact. So what we're going to do is basically get rid of about, services, and project. So bulk select, tick, 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 and then remove selected items. Very good. And now we're going to add our pages that we just created. Okay, so we have car rentals, airport transfer, tools, and activities. Add to menu, and then click save. Okay, so this is saved. It has been updated. So if we go back to our homepage, and let's refresh and there you go as you can see now home contact car rental airport transfer tools and activities oh, okay contact is in the wrong place sorry so basically you can drag and drop them as well same principles you know you can bring this here at the bottom and that's basically so if you click save now let's go back here and refresh quickly there you go now it's in the right order so now home so home basically this is our flight booking and hotel booking and if they want to add car rental airport transfer tours and activities you can easily find that from here immediately from your home page now as you can see we have two call to action buttons here so we might replace this with something else you know perhaps this one would be book a flight and this one book your hotel because everything else is here basically okay after that it's in the menu section next to it so let's replace those two together okay so let's say this one first okay so this one would be book your hotel okay so we go back here we go to pages or select, select the home page so edit with elementor click on it so let's click on our button here so we said this one will be book a hotel okay very good and now we need to add a link so basically the book hotel is down below our page in this section here so what we want is when they click on this they go straight to that section okay so what for this it's very easy let me show you if we click on this section here okay click on this now you go to advanced and you have css class and css id you're gonna give it an id okay so let's put book hyphen hotel now you copy this Control c and let's go back to the top now we go back to our button and here you're going to put hashtag and then the id we just created okay so click update let's go to the front end now and let's refresh our page and now we can click book a hotel and there you go it's going to bring us straight to that page to that section sorry so this is a very easy way for your customers to find immediately that section okay and now let's do the same with take action we're going to replace this with a uh, book a flight okay and first we have to create the section itself so basically the book a flight is this one here and again we go to advanced css id book flight okay so Control c update and now we're going to come out of that page all together okay exit and now we're going to edit this header section so for this we go to appearance customize so from here we go to header builder and let me hide myself for a second as you can see of the button here so if you click on this it will bring that okay so this is take action we're going to replace this with book uh, what did you say book a flight okay there you go this is action number one and now we need to link this back so we said it was book flight okay but we're going to add the the url of our website before it so in front of this add your website address followed by hashtag book flight okay and why are we doing this well basically if you are in any internal pages so if i click on contact now and i click book a flight it will automatically bring us to the home page and immediately to this section not just from the home page itself which is working obviously you know but it will work from any internal pages as well it will bring you to the home page and straight to our booking system and now we only have two things left to do is to basically change our logo and customize our footer section so let's do this together so we go back to the customizer here and it's basically from here if we go back to the main menu here back and back again we have the header builder okay and we have the site logo and title click on this and this is basically the logo itself 
So as you can see, we have two types of logos here, one for a transparent header and one for a plain header with a plain background, basically, okay? So as you can see at the moment, if we go to internal pages, uh, this is basically a transparent background. But if we click on car rental, as you can see, these colors are totally different. And this is when the logo is different, as you can see. You see that this is, this is for transparent and this is not the one for the other pages. So let's take care of this. Okay, so let's add our two different versions of the logo. So we can remove, remove, select logo and let's upload. So I created one in black and one in white, you know, keep it simple. I just call this complete booking website, you know, keep it simple, but obviously you would add your actual logo. So select, skip cropping and I'll do the same with this one. Okay, we're gonna select the same, so choose image, very good. And now you have to customize for the transparent header. So publish first and then customize transparent header. And as you can see, we have the white version now. Okay, so remove, remove, and I add the other version. So this one, use image, and this one as well, select image, and then choose, and then publish. Now let's go back to our homepage, and let's refresh. There you go, as you can see, we have a new logo, complete booking website. So that looks absolutely fine. And let's look at one of those internal pages and we have the black version here. Now, the only issue we have to fix now is the menu. As you can see, we can't read anything because it's white font on the white background. So let's fix that. Okay, so let's go back here. We go back to our header this time. So header builder again, and then let me hide myself. So we need to click on the primary menu here. We go to design. And then scroll down and you see we have text and link click on that and now replace this with the darker color so maybe dark gray or black uh, jet black you know click publish and now this should be fine there you go as you can see even if i refresh that's it that's perfect so this is working fine and now all that's left is the footer section and for this all we have to do is go back to our wordpress dashboard this time we go to appearance widgets Close the first one here and we have footer builder widget one and this is basically where it is you know i'm just going to change the email address just to show you so i'm going to put hello at mrweb.tv there you go and then update and now let's go back to our page here and let's refresh and there you go as you can see now this has been changed and that's all you need and that's it we're all done guys you are now ready to make money with this beautiful booking website